Hey game makers! So, backtracking. That part in the game that says, remember that place you just came from? You should like go back there for some reason. Now, backtracking can be a fun adventure where the player can take new paths and discover new things. But most of the time, backtracking is an unnecessary excuse to artificially extend game length and force the player to grind on more monsters. Since my early games were filled with ungodly amounts of unnecessary backtracking, I was thinking of ways to make it easier. And thus, a warp item. The basic concept is simply that the player can return to previous areas with no more than a click of a button, making mindless backtracking a thing of the past. Examples of this can be seen in games like Pokemon with the fly move, Earthbound's teleport skills, Lunar's dragon wings, and so on. And now, here's the super easy way to do it in MV. First, we'll want to get the Larger Choices and Hidden Choice Conditions plugins by Himeworks. Links as usual in the description. Larger Choices will allow us to group multiple Show Choice windows together, and Hidden Choice Conditions will let us prevent choices from being shown. In the database, we're going to create our Warp item. You can create a skill instead, if you'd prefer, with the same basic steps. The only details we need to worry about are that Consumable is set to No, the Scope is set to None, and the occasion is set to menu screen. Under Effects, we'll want to set it to a common event. Moving to the Common Events tab of the database, we'll now want to create said common event. We're calling ours Warp Traveloo! Because why not? Now, we're going to need a lot of switches and a lot of conditional branches. We're going to call our first switch Can Warp. We'll turn this on when the player gets access to teleporting in-game, and turn it off in any areas you don't want the player to teleport from, like caves or boss rooms or something to that effect. We'll want to create a conditional branch using this switch. So, if the switch is on, do this. We'll also want to select Create Else Branch at the bottom. Now, you'll want to create a switch for every teleportable location in your game. Our first town is called Legtown. So, in-game, when we visit Legtown, we'll turn on the Legtown switch. In our common event here, We'll want another conditional branch inside our Can Warp branch, saying if Legtown switch is on, do nothing. Else, if Legtown switch is not on, we're going to use the plugin command hide underscore choice and the choice number, so this will end up being choice one. Create a new conditional branch for every location we'll eventually have as a teleport point, using its own switch and making sure to increase the hide choice number each time. For this example, we have seven warp points, so seven choices. When all of your location switches are set up with conditional branches, we're going to show some text merely asking the player, go where? Beneath this, we're going to create our actual choices. In the same order as the locations listed above, enter the location names. We can also fiddle with the show choice settings here. I'd recommend having cancel set to branch, as to simply cancel out of the menu if trying to leave. Now, as we have seven choices, a choice more than the default six, we're going to create another show choices immediately underneath the first one, and then add the next few names to it. Continue adding show choices for however many choices you need. At the bottom, we're also going to add a don't go anywhere choice that will show regardless of if the player has access to any areas or not. In each choice, simply add in any teleporty effects, like sound effects or animation, or anything you want to make it look flashy, and transfer the player to the correct area. Lastly, if the can warp switch is off, and we can't warp, at the bottom under else, we're just going to play a buzz sound effect and tell the player that they can't warp from where they are. And that's all! To recap, if the can warp switch is on, we have access to warping to places. If we haven't been to an area, it will hide that choice so it won't show up. If we have been to that area, it will show up and take us where we need to go. If the player cancels out, it exits the event, and if we can't use our warp item, the game will let us know. Ta-da! Make sure to let me know what your favorite anti-backtracking features are. Until next time, I'll see you later, gamers!